The next thing that we want to do is customize the presentation of our invoices and estimates inside of WAVE. To do this we'll need to go to the Accounting Settings menu. You can find the Accounting Settings menu by clicking on the gear icon that's in the upper right of any of the main pages. Once you click on the gear icon, select Invoice Customization. These are the options for customizing your invoices inside of WAVE Accounting. Like many web-based accounting softwares, WAVE has chosen to use a pre-built template model for customizing your invoices. And there are three different templates to choose from. Contemporary, Original, and Standard. If you'd like to see what these different templates look like, you can hover your mouse over any of them and then click on the magnifying glass symbol that appears. So this is an example of what the contemporary invoice looks like. I tend to prefer the original because its grid system makes things a little easier for me to read. So that's the one that I'm going to select, but you can select whichever one you prefer. To select it, just click on the radio button below that particular template. Now the next thing we can do is add our company logo. The company logo shows up in the upper left corner of any of the invoice templates. To select your own logo, go ahead and click Choose File, browse out to wherever your logo is located, and double click. You can see that the name of my logo now appears next to Choose File. It won't actually finish uploading this image until I save the entire customization. Also note that the image should be no more than 10 megabytes in size or it will not upload. Just to show you what it looks like once the image is uploaded, let's go ahead and go down and save our progress so far. Now you can see that my logo has been selected because the box next to Display Logo is now checked. If you want to, you can also change the accent color on your invoice. To change the accent color, click the small box next to the text, and you get a color selector that you can move around anywhere on the screen that you want. I'm going to do a grayscale, so I'll go ahead and click that and click out, and that is going to be my accent color. If you're familiar with the hexadecimal codes for the different colors, you're welcome to type in those codes instead of using the color selector, but I usually just tend to use the color selector. You will find that the accent color does very little on any of the templates, so don't be surprised if you don't see a huge change by selecting an accent color. The last thing that we can do in our general settings is tell our invoices whether or not we use products, services, or products and services. Whatever you select in this drop-down menu will appear on your invoices above your products indicating what it is that you're selling. Next we'll want to scroll down to our specific invoice settings. The invoice settings section allows you to preset certain texts that you want to appear regularly on your invoices. For example, the default payment terms. So you can select whether you want your invoices to be due upon receipt, due in 15, 30, 45, 60, or 90 days. The one thing that is missing from the default payment terms is being able to select a discount if invoices are paid early. For example, a 210 net 30, or 2% if paid within 10 days, full amount due within 30. If you do any kind of a discount program like a 210 net 30, just go ahead and select however many days the total amount is due, and when we talk a little bit more about invoices, I'll show you how to factor in the discount. Unfortunately, it won't be automatic, it will be a manual process, but it is possible. So for right now, my payment terms are going to be due upon receipt, so I will leave that there. I can also change what the title is for the invoice. Again, generally speaking, you're going to leave this at its default, invoice. If I, Whatever I change this to be will change the title that appears at the top right of your invoice. 
Changing the default title will come in handy if you're, for example, working in a foreign country where perhaps you want to title the invoice whatever invoice is in that country's language, or maybe if, for example, you're a nonprofit and you don't issue invoices, but instead there's something related to the donations that you'll be receiving. However, in most cases, we'll just leave invoice as the default title. You can add a subheading if you want. Subheadings appear below the invoice title in the upper right corner. You can also add a default footer. For example, maybe I want to say thank you for your purchase. Then the standard memo is really an important section. If you work in any kind of an industry that has any kind of legal jargon that needs to appear below your invoice, um, for example, certain payment terms or certain conditions of the services you're providing, or maybe it's just simply a return policy for whatever products you have. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little return policy in my standard memo, and that will always appear at the bottom of my invoice. That is all there is to customizing invoices inside of Wave. The next section is for our estimates. If you use estimates, then you can set your estimate settings very similarly to how you would set your invoice settings. It's just that these will function for your estimate forms instead of your invoice forms. Once you finish making your customizations to invoices and estimates, go ahead and click Save to save those customizations. As you can see, Wave's customizations for its invoices are both simple and easy to use, and generally will work for most businesses. However, they do have some limitations. Wave's customizations do not allow for custom fields or custom layout design. So, if you work in any kind of an industry that typically needs more flexibility around its invoice customizations, such as engineering or maybe mechanics, then Wave might not be a good fit for you you may want to look at some kind of a software like QuickBooks for Windows that allows a full layout designer for its invoice customizations. However, as I said, most industries don't need that level of customizations, and a template environment will work just fine and will be much faster and easier to get set up and running. So go ahead and play around with some of the customizations for invoices in Wave, and I think you'll find that you'll be able to create very professional looking invoices for your customers in just a few minutes time. Thank you for watching the Bootstrapper's Guide to Wave Accounting. If you found this video useful, I encourage you to click the like button below, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share this video with other entrepreneurs. Doing so will help us to continue creating more videos like this one for you and other Wave users here on the Accounting Lab.